Ty Jackson here at Song Mentor. Today's song is Call Me the Breeze, written by J.J. Kale, but uh, rocked up and really rocked up uh, by Leonard Skinner on their second helping LP. I don't normally do dedications for songs, but uh, I have a friend named Ross who succumbed to Lou Gehrig's disease. And I know, Ross, this was your favorite song. And so this one's for Ross. Here's Call Me the Breeze, Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Well, as you can see, this song isn't about chords needed, which is usually the first section I offer you in a lesson. It's about riffs needed, or chops needed. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the some of the basic positions that you need for the song, and then we'll talk about the details of how to play the riffs. Um, first of all, you need that basic A five position, which is uh, you know strumming the open A string, and then playing an A chord, basically. But but Again, picking down mainly on the five and four string. Okay, you need that A5 position. Um, you can play the D5 here when it moves to the next chord, but I think you get a little more chop out of it if you play it. There. So I'm going to suggest the D5 here, which is just a bar chord bar across the A fret, third finger on the seventh fret of the D string, and then pinky finger on the ninth fret, off, on and off, hammering on and off the ninth fret. And then you're also going to need the E5. Just move that, what I just showed you, up, so the bar is on the seventh fret, third finger is on the ninth fret, and the pinky's hammering on and off the eleventh fret. Okay? Now, as an option, you can do the E5 down here open, just like we played that A5, except we're putting our finger on the B note of the A string. Okay, so in, in playing that rock blues stuff, you can keep it all down here and keep it simple, or you can play it with the bars. I just again there's one more thing to show you there are some little, there's a little slide down here when it goes from the D5 back to the A5 and that's just taking that bar the D5 and bringing it down one fret at a time and then ending up uh, you actually go, go as far as as barring the second fret and then it's back to the Okay? So those are the basic chops and uh, five chords, if you like, that you need to accomplish this, the whole song, which that, that's what the whole song is. That's what blues and rock is. Um, you know, that, that sequence, that 12-bar uh, blues rock sequence. That's how to accomplish it with this song. What we're going to do now is move on and learn the details of all the little fills and riffing that makes Call Me the Breeze special. Okay, the song opens with a... You know, I would just take that... And maybe take it from the A, since the song is in A. And take it up close to... I mean, this is not a not science here. But take it up close to the, the high A, an octave above, which is on the uh, 17th fret. And then just bring it back down and drop it off somewhere down here so that you can grab the A5. And that's your first bit. Okay, so what you want to do here is when you grab that A5, you're how aggressive that is. And all you're doing there with the pinky is a little bit of a stretch, but it gets easier, is you're just uh, barring here with the pinky, the same as the A chord, except you're doing that on the 5th fret. See that? Practice that a few times. And there's a little connector. 
You don't have to move your fingers. They're just right here. And the third finger... Shall I bend that C note, the third fret of the A string? Take it that far. Okay. Now the next little connector is you got to move this finger down. And what we're doing is playing in a little box here. Two, four, two, four on the fifth and fourth strings. So first finger, third finger, second fret, fourth fret. And when you finish, you end up at the A5 chord. So what we're doing is alternating back and forth between back and forth, shuttles back and forth. There is one other cool little riff that he throws in there. And that's simply done, in, because you want to keep your fingers in formation here, you want to take your pinky and put it on the fifth fret of the second string, and then with your third finger, it's a Rolling Stones kind of riff here, and back to the A5. And it sort of comes in here. I think it's the third time in, you can listen to that, and when we play through this intro, I'll put it in the third time and you can see where it fits in. But that is the essential riffing. Once you've mastered that little, uh, that one, and, uh, and maybe even the, okay? Okay, well let's do a playthrough of that four bar intro and, and see how everything fits together. Okay, so I'm going to play this kind of straight through on the A5 um, for the first half of lines, just because uh, it, it makes it easier to play. So rather than play, I'm just going to play. Well, they call me the breeze. I keep rolling down the road. See how I've, when I'm finished singing, then I can put the riff in. It still sounds great. And uh, what I'm going to play here is also the D5 up here. Breathe, breathe. I keep rolling down the road. I ain't got. And I'm going to play the E5 down here. I ain't got me nobody. I don't care me no Okay, so let's try that. I'm going to slow it down and we'll see if we can do a slow version of this just to make it a little easier to digest. Here we go. Well, they call me the breeze. I keep blowing down the road. Well, they call me the breeze. I keep blowing down the road. So that's how to, I, I would suggest, uh, how to play along and uh, work through verses and still put those riffs in there to make it sound really cool. 
All right, a couple bits of fine tuning here. I didn't show you an ending for the song, so I will now. Um, we've played some of these chords throughout the song, but I didn't specifically show you a couple of them. But the ending is going to go like this. I ain't got me no money. I ain't carrying me no load. That's the first part of the ending. And all we're doing there is we're going to go to the A5 chord. I'm playing it with uh, pinky this time so I can slide up and catch these others going up. It's going to be A5, two hits on each, D flat 5, D5, E flat 5, and one hit on the, on the E5 at the very end. So again. Mr. Breeze. So while you're doing this little blues singing at the end, and just after Mr. Breeze, you're going to play the final two chords of the song. And they are a B flat 7. And we're going to play that by barring the 6th fret and then playing just a B flat chord. Except we're going to make it a B7 chord, B flat 7, by taking our pinky and putting it on the ninth fret of the 2nd string. Slide everything down one so that it's an A7 chord that we finish with. Okay? And of course, we're going to do the big strum at the finish. Like so. Okay? So let's do that ending again. I don't got me nobody. I ain't carrying me no load. Breeze. Okay, here's a little extra piece of fine tuning. Obviously, it's a five minute song. What some wonderful guitar work in this song, and, I, and each solo is a separate lesson, so we that's not what uh, what this site is about. But I can show you a couple little riffs here that you can start thinking about, and one of them is the very first guitar solo. And it starts out with this, this riffing here. It play a D7 chord down here. Okay, D, just a regular D7. Slide it all the way up so that these two fingers are up on the uh, ninth fret and that the, the pointer finger is on the eighth fret. And that's it. That's one riff that he uses very effectively for that first guitar solo. And another one, I'm going to show you a close-up of this one. This is uh, a little simple little riff that he, do, he does uh, frequently as well. And that's pinky on the 12th fret of the first string, third finger on the 12th fret of the second string, and then... All we're doing there is down, picking down on the second string, and then up on the first with that bend. And that's one of those repetitive licks that you can put in and build in as part of a guitar solo. All right, there we are. Call me the breeze, Leonard Skinner. We'll see you next time on Song Mentor.